On Tuesday, January 12th, a catastrophic magnitude 7.0 earthquake just west of Port-au-Prince, Haiti, killed 230,000 people, injured another 300,000, and left over a million homeless. And now the poorest country in the Western Hemisphere is dealing with Tomas, a Category 1 hurricane that is raking the western tip of flood-prone Haiti. Officials worry that this storm will trigger mudslides that could swallow the tent cities where these earthquake refugees still live. But despite the warnings, residents of these refugee camps have no place to go. And on Thursday, their fear and frustration boiled over into anger. They have been attacking some of the evacuation workers. Their fear is if they leave, they'll never be allowed to come back and lose their few possessions. This is all I have. And many of the residents have no place to go. Staying is their only option. The Haitian government, together with international relief organizations, have brought trucks in as an effort to get the 1.3 million people living in these camps out. Well, what you're seeing here today is an, is an effort to remove and help evacuate the most vulnerable people from this camp called Corai, which is on the side of a mountain above Port-au-Prince. So it's vulnerable to high winds and also to flooding from the hills behind, which you can see have no trees on them, so there's a tendency for flash flood. The rain and the flooding from Hurricane Tomas continue to swallow roads across this country, making the escape from the storm becoming even more difficult.